Helps if I have the mic live. Hopefully you're all doing fantastic this morning. It is 9 a.m. as scheduled, and looks like we are still slotted uh, to continue going for the next at least three hours. And I'm seeing my kilobit rate be absolute trash right now. Nope sitting about 25 kilobits. So looks like I am still okay, question mark. Uh, but we're going to hope and see that this continues to work. Um, huge thank you to the most recent follower that I got on the channel, Mr. Clean Senior. Um, I have the Twitch chat up on uh, in front of me here. It looks like we're still operating there, but I'm going to be on the safe side. I'm going to operate or uh, bring up one of my backups on my side uh, to make sure ho hopefully that I'll be able to see it all because uh, last time it was just sitting there just like refreshing uh, perpetually, uh, but I do have a second one as a backup. So we will hope and see that uh, if that works beautifully or not. So until that moment, Thank you all for joining me and let's get hopping right into the project that we've got slotted for today. So the project projects that we got, uh, I mentioned it in, uh, in the announcement itself. I also went ahead and oh, I also went ahead and double checked to make sure that, um, She's okay with it. My friend, unfortunately, was not going to be here, so she wouldn't be able to see me finish up the uh, leather bag that I got sitting over there. Um, I think she said she might be hopping into the chat, but we'll see what happens. 
Uh, we got that going on. We got the axe sheath here. Uh, last time I had this on stream, it was extremely dry. Uh, now I can actually bend it and it won't, uh, I don't have to worry about it breaking on me. So I actually have something to work with that I can actually make the pattern off of. This was actually agreed upon uh, with the person that I was, uh, that I'm going to be fixing this. Uh, he was totally okay with me doing a little bit of conditioning there. We're going to do a little bit of stitch repair uh, in this area here, as you'll be able to see, hopefully, that it is separating there a little bit. Uh, I mentioned this as well to him. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be doing it on stream here, so I have more time on other things. Uh, doing some stitch reinforcement was what he had mentioned and what seemed like he was okay with putting up on here, uh, but I'm going to talk discuss with him on it. I did burnish the edges of the leather sheath itself off stream. So I got these all nice and prettied up. Uh, but with that, we're gonna be making a pattern on this. We're gonna be finishing that bag. And then I'm gonna actually be doing some dye work on uh, my coworker's flashlight case here. Uh, one of the things that I'm actually going to be doing, unfortunately I was not able to acquire it prior to, uh, we're gonna be wet molding the or loose wet molding uh, this flashlight into the case itself. Now, the way that I'm planning on doing that is I'm actually going to be finding something that is about the same size as the flashlight here. And this might work, um, but I need to make sure that this is nearly waterproof. But effectively what I'm going to do is I'm using this as kind of like the template to make sure that the case itself, not the outside, but the actual the part that the flashlight will go into. So this will come up. This is gonna be the top of the holster here. And that's essentially, whoop, sorry. That's essentially how it's gonna look inside here. Granted, this obviously is the short part, but uh, the part that we're wet molding around that is this. But it's gonna be tricky to actually like get this to stay in the proper shape. So that part I'm going to have to probably do off stream and I'll make a Twitch announcement about that and how that's actually, or Twitch or a Twitter announcement on that and on how that's done. But that's essentially the game plan. So now that we got that all handled and out of the way, um, it's probably not going to be, um, I don't want to say looking too good, um, but I think the best thing would to sit on this would actually say, um, audio quality is probably going to get better uh, over time uh, because what I've got off screen in front of me is I've got a lot of like sound dampeners, like the sound panels. I just need to do some research to find out how is the best method to do it and make it actually effective. Um, just because I I like utilizing the wall space, you know, like I have some wall space above me here, over there. I don't know if putting it on the ceiling actually does anything. Um, and then I got a little bit of wall space in front of me behind the camera, so we might do that. Uh, but that's going to be something that ends up getting done. So give me two seconds, shutting that off so I can get myself some beautiful bean juice. One other thing that I want to mention is, God forbid, that this stream ends up getting borked for some reason, because I keep keep my eye on the, uh, the stream quality, the stream kilobits a second. We'll see what happens there. If that thing still keeps wigging out, um, I'm just going to have to start doing some digging and figure out what's going on, because it dropping that low is frustrating as hell. Uh, so we'll see what ends up happening there so it's either something on my end something I might have downloaded to try to help with the strict twitch stuff who knows but onto the projects enough of my venting and complaining so friend wants this dyed in green I showed him the picture of one of my older projects that was done in this green uh, it's forest green 
uh, brand is EcoFlow. I get that from my local from my local leather t uh, shop around here. Um, after having been exposed to a couple of other different uh, brands of dyes, uh, mainly Feebings, I have actually come to really like that brand. No, no sponsorship, just I genuinely really freaking like them because they're of super high quality. But he would actually really like the green that I had on that sample picture that I showed him. So that's what I'm gonna work with. All right, so something I'm gonna do real quick. Maybe. Nah, we'll be good. Yep, I'll be fine. Yeah. What's funny is that I was actually thinking about getting gloves and here I am getting stuff on me in the first minute of this stream. But you live and you learn. Something that I probably should have done, but I figured I'd give it a shot. And attempting it is rather than have to manhandle this, I figured I would keep the lining in there. And it's not working out as well as I had hoped. But I shall live. Dye itself takes about two hours to settle fully. So one of the thing about one of the things that's super nice about doing these types of like streams, you know, I could do it for a couple of hours. I can sit, let it sit for a few days, and then you know come back, you know, in a week and work on it. Is leather work, unfortunately, well, fortunately or unfortunately, you can take your pick. Uh, is something that you cannot really rush. It takes time, it is a slow process. Um, so that works for, for me as a craft for Twitch. Because if I'm doing this on an every, if I'm trying to do it on an everyday basis, I could, I have a job that rotates every couple of day, every, uh, used to be every couple of weeks, now it's every about every month. But it's hard to have some sort of like consistent streaming the job like I got so picking one day where I can work on a project for several hours and then come back to it in a week works beautifully and when I was talking to him about the dying he said yes 100% make this so green it looks black I said, okay that's your call knock yourself out he was totally okay with it. So that's why I'm going a little heavy on the green here. That is what he wants, that is what he signed up for, and he is totally cool about it. One of the other things that, as I was doing some of the research and refreshing my memory when it comes to dyeing, is, you know, you obviously want to buff the leather out when you got it dyed and after it 
uh, sits for a bit after the dye takes hold. That's to make sure that you don't have any dye, you know, any sort of dye that's on the top coat itself that, you know, after you make the product or you make the item and you give it over to uh, the person whom you're making it for or if it's for yourself, the item itself is still not gonna rub dye off on you. So, one of the things that I ended up snagging so hoping to God this wasn't wouldn't pull. Thank God it did not. I did not know it came with that, but that is okay. Didn't think it came with the bucking wheel. Which is totes okay. That is good. That does make my job a little bit easier. Nice. is I've had some people, a lot of stuff I saw online was, oh, you use just a regular cloth, you can use wool. Well, wool is a common material that's used in stuff for buffing cars. So what I did was I went ahead, I just went online, found myself a car buffing kit. And now I can just use this in a drill. Also, I saw someone popped in in chat, give me two seconds just because I am looking at this and silently this, and I will 100% take a look at your message. <laughs> Shalol. Says E. E indeed. Unfortunately, I don't have the look of uh, Markiplier, nor do I have the voice or the look of Farquaad to do the E meme, or like, just to kind of look like it, but I appreciate you popping it into the chat. And being being a first one here, and first time watcher too. So thank you very much for chiming in. Grab yourself a thing of coffee, chill, listen to me talk talk about leathercraft, watch the process. And if you do end up subscribing, you like my stuff, that's fantastic. You hear? I actually am on uh, YouTube as well. There's the information right here as well. If you search for Sigma the Wolf, you will find me on there. Uh, that's actually where, say, if you miss this stuff, if you miss my Twitch stream, I actually go ahead and I upload it onto YouTube on Wednesdays at 6 p.m. So, and if you miss it for whatever reason, you got, everyone has a life, you could still catch up on it there. Um, and I upload it in its entirety, so there's nothing you miss. Ah! <laughs> Space Warfare Development, thank you so much for <laughs> subscribing. Also, I'm so glad that my, uh, Sound notifications uh, is working now. <laughs> Shalom, thank you. And I met my goal of 10 uh, followers. Awesome. Uh, my YouTube actually has like 440. I'm slowly trying to make the move from YouTube over into Twitch. Uh, the main reason being, Twitch has more means for me to interact with you guys. Uh, with, more, with enough followers and chat activity, you know, eventually I'll have channel points that you guys can use like to send messages or send soundboard stuff, but none of that gets unlocked until I reach, you know, high enough of a threshold. So if you like my stuff here, again, I do this every Sunday. Thank you so much for following the channel. I will see you guys, you know, in the weeks ahead and you get to see me continue or get back into leathercraft and used to do this years ago. I see hello and good morning from Space Warfare Development. Hello, good seeing you and welcome for, in being a first time chatter. As I was mentioning to Shalom, go ahead and grab a thing of coffee um, and I'm gonna do this and also explain it. The reason why I go ahead and turn the camera off um, is for a couple reasons. One, I want to drink some coffee, but two, uh, two, the other reason being I keep the mask hidden or I use the mask to keep my face mostly blocked out because uh, I am a costume performer um, outside of this, you know, I'm involved in a costuming community and I try to let the actual costume and the characters that I portray, you know, be them, actually essentially speak for themselves. Um, that's essentially what I try to have that do. I want people to like the character that I'm embody that I am embodying, uh, not necessarily the person that's inside the suit or inside the costume. So that's why I wear the mask. Um, the other reason being, uh, when I do go to various conventions, there's a panel that I host uh, at Motor City FurryCon, and I'm in suit the entire time, and I live stream it uh, 
on YouTube, at least that was the last time I did it. I don't know about Twitch, we'll see that in the future. But that's gonna be something that I always have the costume on the entire time. And as a perk for those that end up seeing and meeting me in person, you know, when the stream is done, I take the head off and I allow people to see my face in its entirety and ask questions, chat, hang out with me. And I wanna honor that uh, tradition I've done in the past, so hence the mask. I I also have my phone here with the chat in case it's a little bit too small over there. I might have to mess with the setting real quick. Uh, if, and assuming this works. Well, that did not work out the way I had intended it. Let me go to the other, let me go to the other settings on here and see if that works. Ooh. Let's try that setting. Oh my God, that's so much better. Space was asking if I'm going to be attending TwitchCon in the future. Um, I've only been doing Twitch only for a couple of weeks. So I don't even know much about what that is. So I honestly don't know how to answer that. Uh, yes. Wait, protein coffee. Glad to, glad to be here. <laughs> protein coffee, I have never heard of that. Don't talk about coffee, I did not sleep since two. Shalom. Me too. I did not sleep. I went out drinking the other day, uh, hanging out with some friends, and had some to drink, and ended up passing out pretty quick, but uh, woke up after about two hours. Unfortunately, that is par for the course for me. Um, I don't know why, but when I drink, I maybe take a two-hour like nap, and then I wake back up, and I ain't going back to bed. So the thing that I got here actually is a strap off of a old leather item of mine. It detaches, so I actually need to replace it because the buckle on this is absolutely trashed. You know, what was supposed to be like a little tab here that goes into like the little uh, holes inside uh, the strap that would then hold, hold this in like, a, like an actual belt, that broke. It broke off years ago. So I have to go ahead and I have to repair this too. This is gonna be something quick. So that's actually something that I can actually do here real quick. And if something is up with the camera or the loading, I again, I apologize off the bat. Uh, last week, Twitch was hating me for some reason. Uh, apparently, Twitch was also having issues. Uh, but my stream kept like crashing. Um, so I'm trying, trying a couple of things on my end to see if that improves it at all. If it does, awesome. If not, I have, I'm probably gonna have to do a couple of test streams uh, on Twitch where nothing happens. I'm just fucking around on the computer. Uh, but, oh, here we go. I apologize if there's buff buffering errors because otherwise this is hardwired in, into my router and it's one gig internet, so I don't know why, why it would ever dip out. Uh, let me see here. Okay. Maybe just your internet. Yeah, I have, because I'm able to see the uh, the data stream quality. Like I've seen it dip like below 800. I have no idea why. Like it'll go like oh like 3k, 4k, 800, 400, 200, 8k. Absolute trash. I don't understand it. Seeing the lag, data's catching up fine. Okay, protein coffee. It's just coffee with a half scoop of vanilla protein. Really. I'm gonna have to check that out myself. Anyway, we have to get rid of this. You can actually see the little notch where the, bu where the little buckle used to be. So that's garbage. I think I can have a suitable replacement in the rotary here. Yes. Yes, that works. Beautiful. I did see a couple messages coming in. Just give me a second while my uh, brain catches up with what I've got. Damn. That was something I didn't, didn't do yet. Oh. I had to do a couple of modifications in the garage workshop. 
Uh, one of them was I had to do an update to the bench grinder. It had two grind wheels on it because I purchased it off the Facebook Marketplace. And since it was two grind wheels, I needed a wire wheel, so I had to buy a wire wheel. But it wasn't set to the correct shaft arbor length, so... Bye, Shalom. Thank you so much for, for chiming in a little bit. I'll see you next week. Do I have the option of streaming at 7.20? I have to check. I have to check on OBS. I need to see if that's something that I could just do midstream or if that's something that I'd have to like stop and restart again. If it's a stop and restart again with this with it being this early, maybe I might give that a, might give that a spin. Uh, otherwise, that'll probably have to be a next week thing because right now it's streaming at 1080 and I've streamed at 1080 in the past at a lower data speed with zero problems over on YouTube, but Twitch for some reason, absolute trash. Absolute trash. No idea why. Let's see. Find the right cap to this thing. Nope, that's gonna be too big. Oh. That's better. I really hope I didn't just put that on backwards. <laughs> now I'm sitting here debating whether I did or not. Son of a bitch. All right, give me two seconds. I need to I need to grab the item. I need to make sure I didn't just uh, put that on backwards. Okay, no, I did do that right. Holy shit, I got really worried for a second. All right, that's one down. Actually, no, that's two down. Because I did the, uh, I did the phone case, or uh, flashlight case there. Next time, check it out. Twitch has problems. Usually use 720 to watch from my phone and back to 1080 on my PC. It works fine. It's fine, works for now. Because I wonder if there is something on my, uh, because uh, I know I could change the resolution because I did do that on my previous stream. Uh, that's something that I'm actually going to check out uh, real quick, actually, just since you mentioned it. Let me go because it was, that's one cam. Because I can't remember, real, what is 720? Is that 960 by 540? I can't remember for the life of me. That's actually gonna drive me nuts. Twelve eighty by seven twenty. change that one and looks like looks like I got that switched over so hopefully that just fixed it um 
hopefully because I know that the resolution on everything just changed in front of me as well so hopefully that ends up fixing at least part of our issues but we shall see and yes I'm doing slight tweaks on the video so you guys can still see a bit better for me and everything else don't need you all squinting have you ever made a cloak from leather or canvas no uh, closest thing that I've done of anything of that capacity is I tried making a leather hood uh, modeled after Assassin's Creed uh, which was a favorite video game of mine when I was younger uh, the leather that I used was too thick did not notice did not know that until it was all done uh, I was a very not that was back when I was more of a novice in leather crafting uh, so that was a accident on my end but I learned I undid the stitching I salvaged the leather and I actually still have some of those pieces uh, from that because the hood was big enough that I just went ahead and saved it uh, for any sort of smaller projects like I actually went ahead and saved that stuff so I can actually use it to make some leather wallets too uh, I've actually got one of the finished ones uh, sitting up on my finished product rack there Jeez. So one of my friends is uh, following the channel. <laughs> and he's just like, you want me to swing by the, you want me to swing by before I go to the gym uh, and show you the car? I'm like, uh, dude, I'm streaming right now. You know this. Hmm. I appreciate the feedback space. Uh, hopefully... Hopefully it does improve for you guys, or at least it may, hopefully it doesn't dip down as low over on my end. So anyways, I got a bag here to fix. So the last things that I've got really chalked up for today and what we got is I've got uh, this leather strap that after drying, I might try to accelerate that process using a heat gun that I got uh, on the other side of the bench. I'd have to go off camera frame so I can snag it real quick. Uh, I got that. I'm gonna finish the stitching on this and then I can actually start making the um, Not the printout. God start doing the trace on this uh, start sketching out the Sizing and the template. That's the word uh, sketching out the template so I can actually have this uh, Start cutting this out. You guys can see the process uh, from from the start Yeah, the leather hood was actually something that's that was a uh, real fun. It was a really fun, but a uh, long challenge for me to do. Um, so one of the things I'm going to do real quick. I always got to make sure that this isn't going to blind you guys because there's stuff that I got to see. Uh, but I also don't want you to miss it either. I've been doing a fair amount of research too because uh, the burnishing process actually destroys my arms like the muscle that's right in here goes ahead and it gets real sore real fast so that's actually something uh, yes my camera has these functions fight me <laughs> now I want to make sure you guys can still see uh, IRL car reveal stream no because you guys would be able to see addresses in my street and I really would not want that on the internet Oh, that's the other thing I can do. I'm going to set that here. I want more coffee. And I appreciate you actually being so um, so active in the chat space. In the in the chat space, but in the chat, comma space. <laughs> you as the person. No donation feature, probably because I'm still too soon. Um, and too early into Twitch, you know, I don't even know, I don't know if I, I don't know at what point I want to set that up because it has crossed my brain a couple of times to do like, um, like a raffle or a giveaway type thing where I make most of a product on stream and then, you know, say raffle winner, I go ahead and I exchange discord information with them. And then I do private one-on-one -on -one streams to finish up the rest of the project and have their personal touches added to it, whether it's a name, certain color stitching, 
you know, that type of thing. I just think that'd be something real cool to do because yes, it does hype, help me financially, but then you guys get to uh, get some awesome stuff in the process. Oh yeah, that's right. Got one more thing to tweak. Sorry about audio. You guys sometimes get some feedback on this. But what's nice about this camera rig, I can get you guys in nice and close. And I hope, ah, helps if I plug that in. Yeah, because I need to be able to see some stuff too. Actually seems like the streaming quality is uh, is better like at least looking from my point of view and looking at the stream it just seems it seems smoother bracers bracers are tricky uh, because moving around naturally uh, they want to shift forward I got it I actually gotta go and do something to this real quick where did ah it's over there the hole on this is too small. Got to punch in a smidge bigger. There we go. Yeah. We'll see how many people I get if donations is feasible, if not. Bracers is something that I've actually wanted to do, but I wanted to make sure because I know bracers can crawl up the can crawl up the arm into the into the wrist itself and it digs pretty hard. Um because in my in my normal life uh, I work as a automotive, or I work in the automotive industry, not necessarily as an engineer, but that's the department that I'm a part of. Uh, that's not my education at all. Um, I went to school for automotives, but it wasn't like mechanical engineer, electrical engineer, nothing like that. It's just automotive technology. So relatively broad degree in the scope of things. Come on. Getting thread through is sometimes the trickiest thing to pull. There we go. Yeah, it's giveaways is something that I need to see about. Not loopholes, but just like how it's done. Uh, Cause I wanna say I saw something online of like giveaways so long as it's not, um, because yes, according to laws and everything, if it's a giveaway, there can't be any money involved. Uh, if there is money involved, it's not a giveaway, it's a raffle. Uh, and then that starts getting into uh, like legal territory Obviously, I don't want to be causing those problems. There we go. It's actually something I want to grab because that will make my life stitching this a lot easier. So all I'm using is I'm using a scratch all to pre-puncture the holes in the bag itself which will make my life a whole lot easier. And these leather straps is actually the thing that broke on this bag. And this is actually my friend's bag. Um, she's going ahead and uh, she's, she's just like, how much do I owe you? And I'm just like, shut your mouth. <laughs> shut your mouth. The stuff that I'm, the stuff that I'm using, like, yes, there's like my time and like, pennies worth of material I straight up told her I was just like shut your mouth <laughs> I'm 
I'll fix this. It's not like you're actually taking a ton of product out of me. You know, it's not like I'm having to crack out a roll, you know, and cut up a massive thing of leather to go ahead and fix this. You know, it's the reason why I keep scrap pieces around. Because the replacement of the strap on this is something that, whoops, is something of leather that I just have lying around. So I don't even, so I didn't even worry about it. And the rivets, I could buy them in bulk and they're cheap. So again, I don't really care. Uh, <laughs> I will answer in a second. I just saw your most recent message space. Uh, I just had my head up my ass <laughs> about uh, talking about things where I was just like, oh shit, someone messaged. I'm gonna have to stream it. Now, if I go to Twitch, protein coffee is just coffee, okay, I'm seeing lag. Ah, going the wrong way. Uh, yeah, next time check it out on Twitch, usually 720. They made a cloak and pit. Which direction is this going? On here. Apparently, the activity feed on my stream is delayed. Yeah, apparently my phone is uh, being stupid, so I'm gonna go back to this. Donations next year. Twitch rules have guidance on raffles, but I think raffles are off, but giveaways are good. Tied to charity agencies. Quality is good from my side, but I'm seeing lag. Looking at my data stream, currently showing two and a half to four kilobits. Uh, and it just dropped to 600, and it's back to 4K. So it seems like it's a little bit better. Um, I don't know if it's also because I'm using OBS. I have no idea. It's di connected directly to Twitch. I don't see why there would be an issue. Give it a minute before the video catches up and you have a chance to answer. Uh, looking over uh, what you had in there, I think it answered. I think I answered the question. Based off of what you have put in the chat. And yeah, I, re I really, really appreciate you being so active in this space. You know, I'd be doing this anyway. Uh, but having another person always makes doing live streaming stuff easier. I think on some days, like if I'm having, for whatever reason, like issues or if I don't have projects to work on, uh, what I'll do, or what I might do actually, is uh, I'll probably go ahead and um, do like a game stream every once in a while. But until then, uh, I've actually got a lot of people that I know and that have known me way earlier on uh, in my leather crafting uh, journey. And they've said that they've wanted stuff. Uh, they've wanted stuff made for me. So don't think I don't think there's gonna be too much of a shortage of leather projects for me to screw around with and do for you guys so should have a decent amount of leather leather repair content I'm sorry I had to adjust that I really don't want to stab my finger there's always a trick with leather crafting. So here's a question actually that I have for you, Space, since you are so active in the chat. My question to you is how'd you find me? Or is it possible that you are from a telegram chat that I'm already a part of. Yeah, leather work, I saw your comment. Leather work takes a lot of 
It can take a lot of space. It can also take a very small amount of space. Um, because of the type of work that I do, and when I say that, it's more so like my modus operandi when it comes to my leather work, which is I really don't give a shit what it is that you want if it's something that is within my skill set. And if it's something that will hold up to uh, my leatherworking um, quality, um, not thresholds, but my standards, uh, I'll make it. And the standards that I'm referring to is that everything that I make, outside of maybe a few aspects, which would be like possibly in the future leather burnishing, and only on certain items, uh, sti leather stitching, uh, where I could do it by machine, and that would be very few instances. Um, everything is done by hand. Uh, I just, I refuse to do anything by machine, if at all possible, because I can use better quality stitching thread. I can do better quality stitching techniques, because the type of stitching I'm doing right now is actually, um, known as a saddle stitch and because the saddle stitch itself is essentially looping in on itself kind of like if you were to do a uh, figure eight over and over and over again if a stitch busts it doesn't unravel like your normal t-shirt and I use wax thread so that if anything were to graze it to possibly compromise the stitching, it minimizes that because it won't really hook onto the fibers. Huh. Never heard of you before. I was searching for sewing channels and your stream popped up in leatherworking and I like learning to do that. It's in the same realm. I'm glad that you found me. Um, <laughs> it's, it's just kind of funny, uh, cause there's someone that I know in a Telegram channel that I'm in, uh, with a Twitch streamer that I'm friends with. I used to do a lot of streaming with him in the past when, uh, when I was more active cause the pandemic really screwed my ability to do Twitch or not, sorry, not Twitch, uh, YouTube. Uh, there we go. And I just kind of had to stop doing that type of stuff for a while so I can maintain bills. Uh, and his his moniker is Space as well, so I honestly thought uh, you were him. <laughs> so my apologies that I mistook you for them. doing there is I was actually fusing the nylon. Nylon synthetic so when apply it, when heat is applied to it it melts. And make sure that the stitching doesn't unravel on its own. But I got that set and now next thing I gotta do is set the rivet and I do that as a reinforcement to the stitching that's already there. Seeing if I could even reach the, if the rivet sever will even reach over here. Otherwise, my hand might be forced to go off of the close up stream. Because I actually have a small anvil that overhangs over here that I can use for a rivet setter. 
The inside's not going to look nearly as pretty. Actually, you can barely tell that that's how I set it. Hell yes. Cool. That's one. Let's get the other. And that's right. I need to take this. I need to... to widen the rivet hole. Very nice. Trying to think of something that might help. But unfortunately, that would not. Actually, something else that just came to mind for anyone that is in the chat that is interested. Everything that behind me that is made of leather, except for the jacket that is on my left, but what would be the right side of the camera over there. If it's made out of leather, that's my handiwork. So, the satchel bag here, the belt it's resting on, shoulder strap, the flask cover, the mask, and both masks, because there's a half mask on the stand, and then there's the scarecrow mask. Uh, all that was done by me. Was formerly in the, in the Boy Scouts. Went to college for automotives. And I enjoy sharing stories, getting to hear people's life stories and experiences too, so guess that's another way of showing my appreciation that you're active in this chat and if you want to ask questions about my life and my experiences I am more than happy to chat you up I'm looking at the stream looks like it's sitting at 13 13 is the lowest that I've a thousand of course as I speak Thousand's probably the lowest, so it seems like we might be okay so far. And the fact that I've been talking with you for a while. So I think I might have found my answer to uh, my stream quality dilemma. Where in the bloody hell did that other... Oh. So you're like, where's the other needle? It's sitting in here. same corner like I did the other one. And actually going like this actually seemed to work really well for the stitching. So we're going to do this again. Pre 
because I was thinking that the leather, the fake leather that this bag is made of, the original stitching holes on the bag straps, that I'd be able to go back through those for the repair. Unfortunately, that would not work. pre-punched this hole. checking the chat periodically just to make sure I'm not missing a message and if you are on YouTube watching this if you leave a comment below you will 100% or sorry if you leave a comment in the YouTube video where I upload this on Wednesdays at 6 p.m. I will, I do go back on those videos, I do look at the comments, and I do reply. So even though this is previously recorded for the scope of YouTube, and when I re, when I upload it to the archive there, I will happily respond. Also trying to make sure I'm staying in frame on this too. like the other one it does a little bit of stitch reinforcement as well there we go and once I'm through here come on there we go go back just with the one needle tie it off fuse it and that Another project done. Sorry, this part gets a bit tricky because I need to see and make sure it gets tied off properly. And sometimes I have to go out of frame for that. used. I want to see if I could actually get this punched properly. 
should be able to. I just need to be able to find the rivet hole. Am I actually in it right now? Son of a... What? Might have to wait. I might have to wait down the board. Son of a bitch, I'm in. Successful, one successfully repaired bag. Strap sitting on the inside too, so we have successful repair. Set that right there. Set that there. I'm scooting my happy ass back. slotted up still a little damp we give that some more time to dry I'm actually going to raise the armature as well for this I should set this up close to where we were before I think we're back in business. Majestic. Still gonna need this. Still gonna need that. 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 Trash. I'm always in the habit of making sure that I've got a clean and organized workspace. Because if you have a clean and organized workspace, you know where things are. You know where things are. Life goes smoother. I also need to clear off a little bit of space too, so I can uh, get get to the leather rolls, and then make sure I can actually unroll what I need to. Because I gotta bring out the roll for sketching out the template for the axe sheath because I do not have small small enough cutoff segments for that some dirty bean juice. Give me one second. Mm. I am so sorry, uh, MJ Sting, if I'm getting that right. I'm so sorry for, uh, for not seeing you earlier. I was getting, I was <laughs> going ahead. I'm like trying to keep things organized and uh, clean up the workspace a little bit before moving to the next project and totally missed you. I'm sorry and hello. I saw, I see you're a first time chatter, which means you are seeing me for the first time. Happy to have you here. And if you don't mind me asking, how'd you find me? Uh, Cause it turns out that uh, one of the other people that joined in on the chat is someone that has uh, never heard of me before, uh, despite my migrating over from YouTube. 
over here because I can actually interact with my viewers. Over there I have like 450, um, but I was an inactive channel for a very long time because of the pandemic. Uh, I pre pretty much over there, I mainly did gaming stuff, I did interview stuff, I did costuming stuff. Uh, and then only recently moved over here. So it was great to have a new viewer. Yep. I keep wanting to put this like over here so I can see it, but I don't need you guys to be seeing the chat either. So it's like, ah, uh, it is a love-hate relationship for that. All right. Looking for letter rolls. I got my stuff stored down here, which is actually really, really nice. Which is nice because I don't have it taking up wall space. Yep, I thought it might have been you, Sting, but I wasn't 100%. <laughs> How have you been, man? Been a while since I've seen ya. Hope everything in life is going smoothly for you. Ah. Uh, nope, that is felt. All right, let's get the buffalo out of here. Ah, uh, the smell of leather. in the chat. I will be seeing it in just a moment. <sighs> All right, I've got buffalo, some chap leather. This definitely is template scrap. A little bit of leftover suede. Leftover deer tan. These were a lot of the other leather samples I had in my go bag. That can go over there. Sting in my, oh, you're both, are you both watching? Fixing the zoom on that other camera. It's awesome if you're both watching. If not, that is totally okay. It's just awesome to have people from that chat be joining in. It's, it's, the, old, it's the goat, more goat, more goat. Uh, this was a white side. Some of the thinner leather that I had. And don't worry, you two. I'm gonna be. What I'm gonna be working on next is this axe sheath. Uh, someone in our community actually asked me to recondition that one and then make a copy of of it for himself. Six to seven ounce. That might be what I want to use. What was this? Will we see you next Sunday? If you're talking streaming or this is also at six to seven ounce. Don't like how light that is. We're not gonna use that. If you're talking about at a GCM meet, uh, it is possible. I need to double check my schedule to see 
if I got it marked in there or if something else is going on, if nothing else is going on, then you will more than likely see me out there. Yeah, that's all still lighter stuff. Ah, uh, the workroom is gonna smell like so much leather. <sighs> this is probably... Well, there's a lot of shit in here. So what happens when former Boy Scout packs from an apartment for the sake of space? I didn't need that. pack shit away in such a manner it's just it's like a clown car yes this is all the same roll what gauge is this it's a eight ounce six seven ounce I'm gonna double check yeah, this is seven, eight ounce, seven to eight ounce leather. This might be my winner. So what did they use for this? Oh, they used five six leather. Oh yeah. We're gonna go. With, we're gonna go with. We're gonna go with this. We're gonna give them a nice heavy duty axe, axe sheath. Gonna make sure he gets not only his patient time, but also his quality and money's worth. Okay. Scooching a couple other things over here. That's scrap demo leather. That's scrap demo leather. Yep, this is the unknown leather because it came from my ex and I cannot find it anymore or a smaller roll and chap leather. More chap leather. Excellent. Storage bin! Stay. Okay. Prank for the day, hike. Food, check, beer, check. Yes. Going well, she's still in bed. Need to make coffee run for her. Hey. I feel ya. Whoop, here we go. Feel ya on the coffee. Oh, the video is back. Was it bad? In person at GCM. Um, I'm just thinking back on the conversations that I was talking about in the chat uh, and catching up and putting things together in my head of like, okay, this was the conversation that I was having then and realizing their responses and such. All right. All right, I wanna make sure that this Set. No, it's not rolling on me, so we should be good. This we can do. Just thinking real quick. Sizing wise. And how and where everything is going to be going. One second, readjust this. I'm not gonna use that side. I'm gonna use that segment of it. There we go. So yes, we are going to use this part.
keep buffering like mad for me. No, you're not. It's not just you, Sting. There's... I've been trying to do a little bit of streaming diagnostics and figuring out why I keep having buffering issues. I don't know if it's Twitch or my stream, but I have been having issues. Just, I just don't know particularly why it's having it, why it's having streaming issues. Okay, that's, that's gonna work. Excellent. Yep, so it's two pieces. This is going to extend out. What I'm making sure is that I'm making use of space as best I can. Yeah, that'll work. Just go there. Yep, so that's gonna come out. It's going to be a full point. That comes out by about an inch and a quarter. I'll adjust the camera real quick. It just crossed my mind real quick about that. Fold. That's Water. Man, I was on the money on that. I'll come over. Okay, excellent. That is a rough guess for me. But I'm going to cut up there. Looking there for the fold point. Yeah, because that is the flap. Fold point. making sure that I'm mapping this all correctly.
anyone's putting a message in chat, I will see it momentarily. I'm not actually stabbing the and marking the actual flesh side. What I'm doing is I'm poking like right in between where it's not going to be seen because I know this is going to be the full point where this actually will fold around because I need that reference point. And then since we're doing the front, this is going to be a lot easier to determine where I'm going to make at least it should <laughs> I'm sitting here struggling already yeah Let's compensate for the flap there. So on this side, what I'm actually able to do is I'm actually able to trace the proper distance done with. Set that there. Then I can go ahead and set that over to the side. And then checking up on chat real quick. Need to move here. Hopefully we'll get to see you ton. <laughs> I need to move here. Hopefully see you Sunday. Have a great day. Hey, I really hope that you go ahead and you come, come back. I did see just now that you followed the channel. Thank you so much for that. Um, I do hope to come out to the GCM Munch uh, we'll see if that actually works out on my schedule. Going to go end to end. 
this. That is a done segment there. I'm just going over this because I only did a light cut because of the curve. I'm just making sure that I'm cut all the way through because I'm not cut over here. That will not fuck up your hand if you skip. At least you should. Okay. This is all stuff that I don't and can't use. We'll set that there. And we shall get this roll out of the way. We are done with that. And I'm gonna turn that off. I can readjust this. Because now. Actually, I'm probably still gonna need this. I need some better lighting. thing that I'm doing for this gentleman is I'm going to be stamping a name into the axe sheath too. I'm stamping his name. quick. 
That I don't need to worry about. This I do. It's amazing what happens when you have sharp tools. Just your whole life goes so much easier. And I'm going over this again just to make sure Got a nice consistent edge all the way through. So that's gonna be folded over, and the other side's gonna be folded over. Beautiful. That one's done. a comment in chat just give me a second just want to focus on this edge real fast so part of this I'm actually going to edge both sides and that's going to be about here. Because this is the fold area of it. So I got it. I go in ahead and I actually marked it just by punching it out on the side. Just so I know where I'm starting. Because this is the side that actually folds down. This is going to be the side that actually folds down. So I want to make sure this edge looks nice for him. stitching. I'm just gonna clean up this area real quick. Yep, because that's part of the fold over. So go ahead and give them a nice edge. finished edge on this. Yep, that'll do it. Lovely. So I'm just gonna go ahead and Cut that out a little bit. 
Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna edge this other side here, because this is the side that the ax will because I fucked up on accident. Whoops. This is gonna end up being scrap. Reason being, is because I cut them all both facing the, sa the same direction. So if this is gonna be how it folds over, I'm still gonna be seeing flesh side. So that has to get recut because I'm gonna be on accident. Oh well. I can still use I can still use this as scrap because it's got a fair amount of real estate there. Ah, uh, just a smidge rusty, can you tell? Okay, so if that's gonna be my fold over, that's a flesh side. So. Doth believe. Yep. I'm getting it right this time. <laughs> ah, nothing quite like a learning mess up. Whoops. So that's gonna be there. This will be flush side up. That's gonna be over there. Ladies and gentlemen, it helps if you think things through just a little bit. Accidentally messed up my own pattern. And trace. Scrap for a different project. When it eventually happens. All right, let's try this again. Helps if I'm not in the camera shot. Helps if I'm not blocking. straight edges right away since I already know these dimensions are all going to be correct. I do know what I could use part of that uh, mess up for. It's one of the things that I talked to him about. It 
was adding in a buffer here so that the blade won't possibly damage the stitching. And I just gotta work on these corners real quick. do on this piece since I mentioned that I was gonna put some reinforcement right here what I can do is I can actually go ahead and cut a small sliver of that off so I can put that reinforcement in there I want to make sure I give them enough bolster so I'm using some call it a wing divider this is actually a compass that I repurposed and this gives me a uniform a uniform line all the way across I can then cut And this does not matter which side is up. Because this is going to go right in between here. And that's going to be a blade, blade buffer so it doesn't compromise the stitching. All right. Excellent. Getting somewhere. All right. Redo the edges. Keeping that. Need this. Looking about, so that's gonna fold over. Looking right about here. Side. I don't want to do that back side. Back side. Now we're cooking with gas. So I'm doing here real quick is figuring out where that stitch line is going to be. Again, because this is going to be on the inside, that's not really going to matter at all. And that's in just a hair more. So I got that set. So you're doing 
we gotta go ahead and we gotta rough this up now. All I'm gonna do for that is I'm gonna use one of the exacto blades I got, just so we can scratch this up. The other side, because it's the raw leather, I don't have to worry about. But this is to make sure that the glue is just regular ass contact cement. Has a little bit of a better adhesion surface to go with. is the same principle. I got a dedicated glue mat that I use to make sure I'm not getting it on my cut surfaces because I like to keep those clean when I'm doing those. I don't want to be cutting a brand new piece and then have die transfer. That is going to go here. Just want to make sure I got it facing the correct direction. All right, get a snack, a sip of coffee, real quick. Come on, there we go. Yeah, I think I just I just saw the uh, stream dip down to uh, six hundred and fifty. does not continue to fuck with your guys' viewing experience. Granted, I have no doubt that it will. Because either fuck my internet or fuck Twitch. Because I wonder how many people are now starting to like stream and then like they get throttled or some bullshit. Or I get throttled because, like, oh, we gotta go to these other guys because they make us money. Ass hats. Yep, because I just saw it dip to 700. Uh, give me one second, be right back. I just need to grab my heat gun, which is on the other side. Oh, which is right here. thing heated up. There we go. It's another dose of the blue. technique actually with leather work as well when you're doing gluing and that's after you go ahead and you do the gluing itself I 
once you once you marry the two pieces go ahead and you take a hammer and let me get this wand up there we go take the two pieces you actually hit them with the hammer along the edges other methods I've seen is that like you take like a, a roller and what it's doing is that it's making sure that you're making solid contact all the way through you're getting all the air bubbles out excellent all right and that I feel bad for anyone that's expecting someone and they watch this, they're just like, who's at the door? <laughs> just can't imagine, I can't imagine what someone like, uh, space is going through, just like, who's at the door? Side. Done with the heat. Well, we might be done with the heat gun. How are we feeling here? No. Nope. Still a little damp on this, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually apply a little bit of heat to a smidge of heat to this. Hopefully it'll help uh, dry the dye out a smidge. Doesn't look like too much feedback is getting to you guys, so good to know that I can actually do that. You do get a fair amount on the second setting, so. This is actually speeding up the dyeing process. I can see it like lightening up a little bit. So the buffing stuff that I was talking about, okay, the clean segment of this rag right here, is literally rubbing this back and forth, seeing that dye rub off there. So this is something that's gonna have to be done, but I figured, you know what, rather than doing that, I got this buffing wheel. My brain went, you know what? Let's see if we can do this. See if this works any better. Chief Sparks. Oh my God, thank you so much for following the channel. Hey, see that you're a first time chatter. How's it going? If you don't mind me asking, how'd you find me? Got a fair amount of people. Uh, chime in some of them are actually from the crafting community and they're just like yeah i was looking up sewing stuff and then ended up finding you uh to catch you up to speed um as a quick heads up if you ever miss one of my streams for any reason i do go ahead and upload the entirety of the stream to my youtube which is at the handle actually right here uh but right now actually we're working on a axe sheath uh this is an old axe sheath um that's actually from my friend's great grandfather's axe uh, so what we're doing is I actually went ahead and traced and copied this over, uh, reconditioned this a little bit. So this is actually going to go back to him because before, like, I couldn't even do a little bit of flexing. So we're going ahead. I reconditioned that a little bit over the last week or so with a shit ton of leather con conditioner. Uh, and then I got myself some, that actually is like five ounce leather. This is six to seven ounce leather. So we're actually going to give him a lot more uh, durability out of the leather itself because we're going to go with something thicker. And right now, I just went ahead and I just put the bolster in for uh, the front part of the axe sheath itself. 
so that when I stitch this, it's not the axe blade is will not in any capacity possibly compromise uh, the stitching that I'm going to be putting there. And now I'm actually going to be working on matching up the I'm working on matching up the areas where he originally where it was originally riveted on the back and the bottom here. Keep forgetting the cameras here. These segments here matching them to this so I can actually stitch them. But it's great to have another follower in here. Today alone has been like five people. It's fucking excellent. Thank you so much for following the channel. There we go. So I'm gonna do since I have this segment here. I know this is all cut to proper size and matching it. I can just mark along the back here and here, here and here. So I know where I gotta be cutting. That is not as sharp as I was hoping it would be. I love chat. I love talking with the people in the chat. So, Chief Sparks, and hopefully you're okay with me, even just calling you Sparks. Uh, if you want to go ahead and ask me any questions about anything regarding leather work or stuff I did before, what I did on YouTube, by all means, ask me questions. I'm, I'm happy. To, I'm happy to chat. You know, this whole leather crafting thing that I'm doing on Twitter is not my normal thing that I did before so growing the community here is going to be a bit of a challenge because I have to migrate my people from my YouTube over but then also this is more of a chill thing that I do on mornings on Sundays and is a guaranteed day off from my normal day job so I don't have to worry about any of that because I can still keep my main job and do this on the side Excellent. Making some fantastic progress on this. Expand out the edge over here. Making sure I got myself a nice, nice edge. Good. Beautiful. Now we're getting somewhere. Or as my dad would say, now we're cooking with gas. Because no one likes pot racing. <laughs> I hate that I just made that reference. pre-folding and pre-molding this. And apologies for you guys that end up hearing that. folding this stuff over so that I can it'll be easier for me to stitch it'll be easier for me to stitch this all together as I'm mimicking The X sheath that this is for. 
because it was his grandfather's. And he wanted a replacement. lines over here and because that is gonna go there that's top I want to mark that too Perfect. So all I'm doing the here, for anyone who's not familiar with leather work, with this tool that I'm using here is actually it's a groover. So what I was doing before with the wing divider was I was marking where my stitches were going to be. This is actually grooving the leather so that the stitching itself sits kind of beneath it and the reason for that is to make sure that the stitching itself is not in danger if you will of any sort of damage you know through normal wear and tear because it sits beneath the surface it's less likely that it's actually going to get scuffed so leather makers will groove it so you can see here how it's grooved trying to get it to focus where it's grooved in there and we're here you can just see I just got it marked and that's the first spot that I got it grooved that's nothing particularly important. Okay. I have something in my phone that notifies me when the door is open because I do have a roommate. adjusted my stitch tool so I have a proper groove for what will be on the back side Frickin excellent Excellent. 
Now what I'm going to do here, to make sure I got myself some nice consistent stitching, there it is. Uh, Yeah, we'll use that piece. Got myself a segment of granite here. I know it's granite because I went ahead and nabbed it off of a. <sighs> went ahead and I nabbed it off of a granite shop's curb because they were tossing it. Yay, free stuff. Making sure I got myself a nice solid groove. They're stitching to sit in. Excellent. Don't have to worry about the top side because that's going to be exposed. This back side, though, that's on the inside, that's on the inside. Don't care. This is not. Just got to make sure I got to get that I get this grooved. Excellent. You know what, just because I went too far there, we're going to make this be accent stitching all the way around. then kind of flows and this gets folded yeah that actually looks freaking excellent I like it ah oh, yes love that freaking excellent We're gonna go with four mil on the stamping or the uh, stitching. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Organized tools are happy tools, in my opinion. Perfect. Excellent.
spot is going to be off just a hair. The stitching's going to look a little weird, so I'm going to do a 3 mil there, just to have a little bit more uniformity. Got all my stitching done there. And that's going to be freaking excellent. Get the next segment of glue going. I'm just gonna rough up this edge here so the glue takes better. And the glue looks like it took really well up here as well, also. And all this is is a glue eraser. So what it does is that it takes takes away any residue glue that is there. Just got that set. Gonna rough up this side as well. Actually, got to rough up a lot of this side and this side before I make that mistake. You got to make sure anything that glue is going to be touching. will take. Let us get to this. You know what? I'm going to try something real quick. Straighten out. Over and down. That's probably a little bit better for you guys. is done what I'm using is like it's like a silicone uh, glue applicator got it from the tannery place that I actually is like two miles down the road for me the idea being that you could actually shut up phone the idea being that these last longer because you're not having to screw around with brushes. So far, I like it. And probably towards the end of the stream, what I'm going to do is the flashlight case that I got over here. If you look at the main screen, it's right here. That, I went ahead and dyed that, but dye takes about two hours to fully set. Did that towards the beginning of the stream. And then you gotta buff it out. 
So, what we're going to do is, once we're closer towards the end of the stream, I could actually go ahead, because that will have been set for about two hours, I could buff that out. All right. Now, this also tells me I need to apply a little bit more glue. Yahtzee. The reason why I didn't punch the stitching out on this segment because I want to make sure it goes all the way through to the other side. On this, I could poke holes through and I'll be okay. sure that this actually holds well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this off the silicone mat. So we're done with that. Looking good. Make sure this takes really well. So what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it on my blue stamping block there, and clean the area up just real quick, and set my other granite block right on top of it. Unless I got one more thing that I need to do. This is where my scraps come in handy. Because the buffer is there, and it otherwise it's not gonna make solid contact all the way through. What I'm doing is putting one of the scrap pieces in place. Yeah. There we go. I need one more piece, because I need to even out the pressure. There we go. Beautiful. So got that set. That's got a set. And then I'll be able to do stitching. But now we have to buff this this bad boy out. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna first thing I'm gonna do is really straighten the camera there. there and I mentioned it before I have this buffing wheel so now I get off of Amazon and rather than hand buffing I'm just going to absolutely destroy my arms <sighs> I'm giving them a workout I got myself a power tool sharp phone 
to use this to buff it. The glory of power tools. <laughs> the battery's dead. How am I on this battery? Still full battery. And it's a higher amperage hour rating. So I'll add more bulbs. Yeah, there we go. while I'm doing this so you guys aren't getting unnecessary unnecessary noise Excellent. Got this all nice and rubbed out. And now, the other thing that I gotta do with this is I gotta go ahead and start, start to mold it a bit. Which I know what I'm going to do for that. And trim off this excess real quick. I need to do that very carefully. Fantastic. All right. So we need to go ahead and we need to start forming this. So we can go ahead and then wet mold eventually.
what will be the lining. So this flashlight case is going to be flashlight. There it is. So this is essentially what it's going to be. Coworker wanted it intentionally intentionally short on this end so he has something to grab. But I think what I want to do for this is I want to get a, get a wooden dowel that is of the same size and then I can go ahead and I can use clamps to keep constant pressure on it so it can be wet formed. And I could have it wet formed to size. Yeah, that would be a good idea. And the last thing that I gotta do, and it was done intentionally because I wanted to make sure this was cut to size, is I got these magnets that we're gonna put in there. This is gonna go in here, and this is gonna go on that side so that they can clip together. But I need to make sure that they'll actually make contact in the right places. So I will need to peel this back, re-glue, but it will be stitched also, so it'll be nice, it'll still be nice and strong. Other than that, I got myself about 30 minutes to kill, or just about 30 minutes to an hour. So this I can figure out later, making sure I don't have anything that I could set that up right now. I don't think I do. Nope. So we'll keep this off the side, that is something that I will do off stream. And then what should be next stream, that'll actually probably get finished. The other thing that I said that I'd do for my friend was I said I'd go ahead and I would recondition uh, the outside and burnishing it, which I did. But I also told him that I would restitch this so that it won't fall apart more. So I'm going to go ahead, we're going to restitch that. I got to use the restroom. Give me two minutes. I will be right back.
All right, I return. One second. There we go. Use that brown stitching that I used before uh, for the bag, and so I have that cut to size. And this is why I made the rig. So, I got myself some C clamps here so I can have this stable and free and you guys can still see me work once I move the camera. Goes in the wire. There we go. Damn it. Trying to figure out. Oh, that would be a place to have it. I don't think I have anything that will. No, nope, I actually might. Give me one second. It's an old early project prop that I was using for. Costume never came to fruition, or at least didn't come to fruition yet. I might fix that. Oh, that's fantastic. Just need the wax and the thread. started. Excellent. I gotta fetch, up, fetch out this old stitching. Oh man, that is so dry. 
that it's literally falling apart. Like, I'm not able to, like, pick it out and, yeah, that is that drunk. Holy cow. You figure out how, what the best way to poke this out is. I might need to use a set of needle nose, cause that is so deteriorated. Ladies and gentlemen, always take care of your leather. Holy cow. Oh, might have just found the trick. We'll push it in. Yep, that's the trick on this one. Trying to get this last bit out the back side. <sighs> this is definitely some type of natural fiber that they used because it came apart so easy. find you. And I will kill you. Good lord. Just gotta be very careful with this because of how brittle the leather is. Even after a lot of conditioning, it's just... I don't want to tug on the stitching so much that it literally rips through the leather. Because this is deteriorated that much.
getting this cable out of my way. so brittle I can't finish this off like I normally would by pr bringing it up through through the end seam right here like actually between between the two layers of the rubber if it'll focus focus what well, kind of is so Oh, there's the two different layers. I'm gonna see if I can clean that off real fast. Cause that is going to drive me insane that if it don't focus. Yeah, there it is. So the two different layers of the leather that are in there, I normally would bring it through those layers, but the problem is that it's so brittle, it has and will fall apart. So I can't exactly do that. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is fuse it on the back end. this clumsy there it is I barely, like, I barely touch the edge, and that wants to fall apart. It's that dry. Even just me barely touching it over here was causing it to <laughs> deteriorate. And I really can't have that. So I think I'm gonna have to go. this part of it done. That is set. Whoops. Wrong way for a C-clamp. <coughs> Nobody asked you. Stupid C-clamp falling on me. There we go. What? No, nope. you're just outright gonna go live over here. So, that was pretty much most, if not all, the projects that I had for today. No, I think I might have just found my answer for any sort of lighting concern going forward. Cause that's freaking excellent. Yeah, that might have just been the answer. 
right. Set that there. Bring you all the way back. And with that, all projects fucking not hit the damn camera. All projects are pretty much done. I'm trying to think off the top of my head if there's anything else in particular that I can do. Setting the camera back up to the way, or close to the way it was. <coughs> you know what, what I will do on stream? Go ahead and we're gonna give this another dose. Use mink oil paste. This bad boy can get that hydration in. boxes are way too big for the orders that they send. You're giving me a fantastic surface that is clean and I can go and do my work on. onto the rag. I do, I, see, I do see that I have one follower in there, and I do greatly appreciate you still sticking with me on this. Uh, if you are in there, feel free to drop, drop a line in the chat, because I can't see who it is. But if I were to take a guess based off of who... <clears throat> sorry, based off of who was active before, I would take a guess that it is space. But I do not want to assume. If it is space... I do appreciate you sticking around. And I hope you've been enjoying the stream and the music.
the other thing that I got to do as well regarding this project is I got to figure out the square inch amount of leather because I formerly used to, or at least I tried earlier in my experience with leather tried to start a business on it. It was a small time thing. And uh, did not pan out. So I ended up starting it up right before the pandemic hit. It was maybe operational prior to that by a few months. But I had several people wanting work. So wanting some of my leather work. <laughs> hey news good seeing you again oh I could barely read that it's a uh, Barco <laughs> Barco Polo god love the pun thank you so much for following Barco I really do appreciate it and Niz thanks for coming back um, you might remember Niz uh, this axe sheath from last week and how dry this was. And before, I couldn't even bend it. And now, I can bend it without much issue. But this thing is still super dry. On a positive note, I did end up getting all projects in terms of progress and what I needed and wanted to do today, done. When it ended up getting dye on the flashlight. Thank you, Barco. Uh, but last week, and Barco, I don't know if you're coming over from my YouTube channel, because you're seeing me upload there again. Granted, it is the archive for my Twitch. Or if you are new and you found me on Twitter or any of the telegrams that I posted in. Either way, it is greatly appreciated, why am I rolling my R's, that you are here. But if you want to see what this act sheath was like before I started with it, you can go back into the YouTube and you can actually see how brittle this thing was. Like, just dropping it, you know. Like, I went like three inches off the ground, or off the table. And you can hear how dry it was. Oh! The Twitch Browse section. So great to see that that, that is working, and so are my tags. Um, But this thing was so dry before that, like, if you looked at it wrong, it would fall apart. And after about a week's worth of just applying conditioner and mink oil, I could find—I I finally got this to a point where I could actually do some light, 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 light bending. And I did do some stitch repair here because it was coming apart. The story behind this is that it is my friend's grandfather's axe sheath. Granted, his grandfather is still alive, but he's not going to be swinging an axe. So he passed it down to my friend. But he obviously needed a new axe sheath. So I'm going ahead and making a new one for him. It's currently sandwiched between these blocks up here because I got some glue setting on that. And this, I'm reconditioning, getting it into a better state so that I, he can give this back to the grandfather as a memento. And then he'll have his own.
think that's about as much conditioning as I'm able to get on this thing for now. So it doesn't look like it's, it's accepting anymore and it's just laying on the top, which is not a bad thing. It just needs some time to soak in. Soak in the leather work. And also Nisbet, because I know that we're getting later in the year and more planning for Motor City Furcon is down the pipeline. I have been talking with Jedi and she is interested in having me make a couple of things for Bingo. And if you have ideas of something that I can make and contribute to the Bingo, let me know. Because I looked into the charity that we're going to raise money for and I can't think of anything off the top of my head that I can have that's necessarily themed for the charity. But if you have ideas, I am open to suggestions. But Barco, I do greatly appreciate you coming in, checking this out. And then everyone else who's followed today. I think today alone we've had four, four or five people join us, joining and following. It is fantastic to see that this is getting somewhere. All right, that I'm going to sit there. My hands are oily as hell. <laughs> Which makes closing everything really difficult. It is 11.58. So, bingo is entirely her domain, so I'm not the one to ask. Well, that doesn't mean you can't come up with ideas. Ah! So do your thing and ask her. Because all she said is if you can think of anything that's like like smaller things that are like un relatively under $20, you know, that, that I could make, which I can. There's a couple, there's like one or two things that come to mind immediately off the bat. Um, and they should work. Not 100% sure, because uh, what they are is they're kind of just like leather, leather bracelets that I can make. Relatively easy to do, um, and I could do them in various pride colors too. Um, but I don't want it to be something where it's like one of each type of thing, because if someone wins and then their pride color is taken, they might not want it. Um, so I'm trying to think of something that's maybe a little bit more generic that might work, or at least more likely will work. But I think that's going to be something of spitballing ideas would not be terrible. No one cares if I'm Reminder of a errand that I need to run. Picking up some, uh, picking up some stuff because I've got a gathering Saturday with friends. Ah, it's a bonfire at my place, and I'm picking up some chairs. Yes, Niz, since I know you and we are friends outside of Twitch, you obviously are welcome. You already have the information. And at the same time as last time. Uh, you mentioned about uh, showing up with the new er or new car that you got because of the situation that you unfortunately were in last time. 
Uh, if you want to swing over, probably sometime around three o'clock, you are more than welcome to. It would be excellent to see and hang out with you. Uh, but also, because it jogs the memory and rings the bell, because uh, Alkali's got his thing as well after this. And I don't know how to do it off of OBS, but I know there is a way and a means to raid a Twitch channel. And I would like to do that. I just don't know how. And that's gonna be tricky. And I've got my list of projects that I'm going to be working on need to mark and update that. Just doing a little bit of housekeeping. Just cleaning up some stuff. So that I'm not having to do it on my off time. All right. Let us check on the Ligleo. that works for me. My D&D that was supposed to be at 3 is cancelled because the DM is feeling sick. Yeah. If you want to come over and hang out afterwards, absolutely. <sighs> Let's see. There we go. Doing that. That's got to get a cuff mod. He had a wallet repair and the flashlight case that we're working on right now. And the other thing I gotta do, that's something I could do right now. I uh, need, I need this. Gotta find a segment of scrap leather to use. I need a belt retainer for the flashlight case. This might work beautifully. Hell yes. We're going to do that. That was easy. Yes, Niz, um, I'm anticipating around three o'clock because uh, where I gotta go is up closer to like the Walt Lake area. So I gotta go up there to grab stuff. So that should actually work perfectly. I'm only gonna snag what I need out of this. Did you need help with the errand? <laughs> Maybe? Is that where you're gonna be out? Um, I'm gonna double check, uh, cause I have his address. Um, obviously I'm not gonna say it here. Holy shit, I haven't heard from you in a long time. but I know where you're talking if you need another hand. Uh, is the pickups anywhere between one and four? And... Not far from Lake Orion.
yeah, it's not far from Wall Blake. Um, so if you want to meet me up, if you want to meet me there, um, what it is, it's 12 lawn chairs uh, for the bonfire. Um, so if you want to go ahead and meet me up there, I'll probably need help with the space um, and hauling it out. So I would love that assistance. That's right. I need to make sure this thing's nice and tight for him. Because his belt, that's the belt thickness. The belt thickness itself is one, one and a half inches. Scratch all. Yes. Yeah. I'll go ahead and I'll uh, I'll send you the address uh, once this is done. I'm gonna make this a hair smaller than scratch size. Also, I know the thickness of, whoops, I know the thickness of the belt, because I got that. Went ahead and I got that marked as well, last I saw him. So I'll be able to use some scraps to make sure that I got a proper fit for his belt, because he said he wanted it on the tighter end, so it wouldn't be moving anywhere. There we go. Beautiful. Smart idea. Going back into the dashboard. All right. So this is the thickness of the belt that he's got. So all, I'm, all I need to do really is nope, not good enough. I'm gonna do to make sure that I got a kind of like a somewhat proper demo. Needs to be an inch and a half. So first, I'm going to mark here and here. That is nearly perfectly in line. for the marking once so I have a proper copy just just past the 18. And this obviously in the strip it is 
in and of itself is not going to be the exact thickness, but I'll be doubling it over, and then it will be. And the other thing I can do to have a proper coffee. That won't work, so I'll have to use the other one. I can use my belt corner punch. And I got myself a solid end. Also, I was just checking the time to make sure I'm not impeding on alkali too much. Because I do want to rate him. doing here, we're going to edge groove this, so this becomes easier to fold over. sits flatter, more flat, flatter, helping you move stuff, showing you the car, and an excuse to hang out. Yeah, that's a no-brainer. Yeah. Don't have any particular quarrels with that. Sure this is the proper size. Oh, that would be that'd be excellent. Yes. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh yes, this would be freaking perfect. I'm essentially gonna make a copy of his belt and just the belt end. And then what I'll be able to do. I'll be able to wet mold I'll be able to wet mold the uh, the belt mount to the belt he's using yes oh, I'm so happy about discovering that And the reason why I'm doing this groove here is to make sure this sits flush. Oh, this is freaking perfect. Is the thing under there? No, so I don't care. That can go there. That can go over here because I don't care as much. That can go there. That can go out of the way. This can go here. Back up. Whoops, just freaking tossing my tools everywhere. Okay. That's brilliantly, that could go there. Still need this, and still need this. And 
12, 16. And I just realized I'm breaking one of my own leather making rules and I'm not doing this on the silicone mat. Whoops, oh well. We are here, decisions have been made. Honestly, now that I think about it, I'm not too worried because this is a thicker leather. So my proximity to the actual plastic of the punch board, not too much of a concern. there and what I'm gonna do it's gonna go there that's for the leather belt that can all go there this and go shmeow and shmeow this can fold the hell over majestic Let's tap this bad bitch out. One of the many reasons you love having me around. Yeah, well, that's one of them. You're also just a good person in general. I think you are, at least. gonna do with this keep the weight on it that's gonna make sure that it sets for a while I'll be able to make that and then I can do the wet molding uh, next stream that can go there this give me a second uh, this is gonna go over here because the next thing I gotta do is I gotta go ahead and I gotta sharpen or I'll sharpen slash drop my tools make sure they got a clean edge to them I need my jewelry rouge I was wondering, I was like, what bit, what picture are you sending? It looks like it's just like a uh, cute horse from the looks of it. But I could be wrong. Excellent. All right, got that set. That's set, that's going back up here. the time and I saw how much time I got which is and the answer to that is plenty and what I could do is I can stitch this Gonna have to use my two prong. Oh, that space is out perfectly.
You mean the emote? No, it's just Seraphin sticking their tongue out. Ah, yes. going all the way through and it looks like one more punch cool that's done all right pretty much done at this point that way so what I'm gonna do is since this is the piece that I'm thinking of using It's either that or it's gonna be this. Either way, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wet mold this. What it is is I need to soak this and then I need to, <sighs> I need to soak this and then I need to clamp this down. In the process of clamping that down, this will then dry and this will then dry to the size of the belt. And it will go ahead and make sure that he's got a nice tight fit and this won't be jumping around on him. But that is probably going to be a over the weekend thing or just like kind of a small clip that I do. Uh, Cause it's definitely not gonna be a this stream uh, add-on that, that I got going. So with that said, and we're pretty much at the very end of the stream here. The last things that I'm going to mention is one, thank you to everyone that ended up following. Thank you to my returning, sub uh, not subscribers, my returning followers, uh, that includes Nisbet who joined in. Uh, I know that uh, Sting was in here. I know him personally outside of streaming. Uh, so it was great to see him and other people within a shared community uh, come and visit my work. Hopefully it ends up more and more people start finding me or navigating over my direction. Uh, and then next week, it looks like we're gonna be working on finishing up the flashlight case, and then I'll be able to return that to him. Other than that, I'm gonna see real quick if I can get you guys moved over uh, to do a raid over to my buddies, over to my buddy stream that's happening. And it's possible that I might just need to <sighs> go into Twitch to actually do this. So bear with me for one hot minute. So I can see that navigating my happy ass over to do that. And you guys are probably gonna get some wonky ass uh, audio for a second. A channel. Let me see about making that happen. They're streaming, but I think the countdown is going. Yes. The countdown is currently what is going right now. Uh, there it is. Raid channel. Alkali and Zanny. So, that all said, everyone that is here, everyone that finds me on YouTube, thank you all so much for sticking around and joining me in this migration over into Twitch territory. Uh, next Sunday, again, we're gonna be finishing up the ax head. I'm probably gonna do a very tiny bit of it uh, off stream. Actually, what the other thing I'm gonna try to do is I'm actually gonna try to get the person who uh, this ax sheath is meant for. I'm gonna see if I can actually get him here uh, so he can actually be a part of the final touches to this and get to see this to its fru fruition. Uh, all the way and then he'd be able to take it home um, but so that I could go ahead and talk dies with him to see which one he wants so that everything is all set to go for him so that all said 
Thank you all very much. Uh, Alkali and Zanny are going to be on and they usually do a lot of comedy bits. They go ahead and they do um, a lot of chat, chat interaction. Please go ahead and support them. They're phenomenal at what they do. Uh, they're also a part of the furry community. If you're seeing this on YouTube, find me over on Twitch, as I mentioned before. But thank you all so much. Uh, yeah, they are, they are a variety comedy duo. I think variety is being very generous in that statement. But everyone, thank you so much for watching. And here is Alkali and Zanny. Looks like I got three viewers that are going over there. Let's have some fun. <laughs>